Hi and welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. Please subscribe and like this video if it was helpful. Um, today I will show you how to remove a radio from a 2013 Dodge Grand Caravan. This works from 2008 all the way up to 2020. So to remove it, we first have to remove this black uh, trim around the radio. So to do it, you can use a flat screwdriver or a kitchen knife or something like this. I find this the easiest to do. So just pry it a bit and uh, it's gonna pop right out. Okay. It's a bit hard to do it with one hand, but okay. Okay. So once you move the cover, you'll see has a couple of clips actually two main clips one on the each side and once you remove that you will have four Phillips screws to remove so one is right here 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 and here so on the each corner so yeah remove those screws with the Phillips screwdriver and uh, you'll be able to pull out the radio. Uh, once you remove those four screws, you can pull out the radio. And you will see two cables plugged in the back. This, this big one is a power cable and your speakers and stuff like that. And this one is the radio antenna. So to disconnect it, there is a small um, clip on this on the back side just click it and pull it out and this one the same thing you will see like a small clip on the back side here just push it in with your finger and pull the cables out Now what I will mention, these Dodges have a common problem of um, radio not working or radio, radio powering up and no sound coming from the speakers. And most common problem is this connector right here and these wires. Sometimes they are too loose and when you hit like a um, hole in the, in, the, in the road or something, it loses the connection and then the radio loses sound. So if that's your problem, inspect this connector, make sure that there is no broken wires and you can probably check all the way up to here and uh, use some kind of a tape to keep it all together and to try to immobilize it so they don't move too much. Same thing with the radio. Um, make sure the connection is good. And once you plug it in, you can also use a tape to secure it more tightly. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe and like this video if, if it helped you and help me expand this channel.